Hey everybody, welcome back to Reviews and How To's. I am Tyler. Today we're going to be going over tracking IDs in your uh, Amazon Associates account. Uh, this is for Amazon influencers, uh, affiliates, associates, whatever you want to call yourselves. And this will actually assist you in uh, being able to track where your sales are coming from, if that makes sense. So say you uh, put an affiliate link on Facebook, and then an affiliate link on Instagram, uh, an affiliate link on Twitter, and you want to know exactly which link people are using uh, in order for you to generate commissions. Uh, this will sort of give you like an insight as to where you're generating sales slash commissions and maybe what you need to work on or where you need to focus more. So it's actually really easy and simple to uh, do this. Uh, all you have to do is go over to, well, first you'll start out at Amazon Associates, which right here is uh, affiliate-program.amazon.com slash home slash reports. This is the view that I like. Uh, if you just go to the regular one, it sort of gives you like a mobile type look to it. And I really don't like that. Man, my nose is itching, kind of bugging me. Sorry if I sound a little weird today too. I've got a cold. Half the house is sick right now. Uh, so what you're going to do is go over here to your email and then you'll go down to manage your tracking IDs. Imagine that. <clears throat> and then once this loads up, you're going to go over to uh, uh, this one right here. Add a tracking ID. As you can see, I've already got some down here. I keep on wanting to point at the screen. You guys can't see me pointing at the screen. But yeah, I've got ones down here. Uh, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, uh, then some other generic ones down here at the bottom. Uh, and then you can search these if you need to uh, in case you have a whole bunch of them. And I think if you click on them... Let's see. Let's see. Does a bunch of nothing. All right, cool. I thought maybe it would pull up my cells. I really don't ever mess with my tracking IDs too much. I mean, I make them and then I don't have to mess with them ever again. So add a tracking ID is what we're going to do. Now, you might want to start it out with something. Uh, a lot of mine just start out with gig because I used to dabble in like the gig economy, DoorDash and stuff like that before I became an influencer. Now I'm like mainly focused on influencer stuff because uh, I do a lot better with influencer stuff than I ever did with DoorDash. I'll tell you that much. So, uh, but yeah, in here is where you can create a tracking ID. You can name it pretty much whatever you want. Uh, if it's already used by another associate or something, it'll tell you that. So let's do something really basic that we know is probably used, like blog. I'm sure somebody used that. Uh, it's going to say, hey, sorry, tracking ID that you selected is already used. Here's some examples of other things to use. But for me, I accidentally exited out of that. For me, uh, I stick with the gig thing just because it's what I've always done. So gig dash blog is what I'll use this time. So uh, I'm starting to do some blogging and if I want to include uh, links on my blog, that way I can see where they're coming from and then I will hit create. Congratulations, you successfully created gig-blog-20. They almost always end with dash 20. So after you've created these IDs, you can go to, probably need to refresh this, just to make sure it has that new store ID in there or tracking ID. You'll go to text up here on your site stripe. If you're not familiar with site stripe, this is where you generate your affiliate links. And then you'll go to your tracking ID over here and the gig blog right there up top is now available. You can click on it and then you'll click get link. And now whenever somebody clicks this link uh, in your reports, it'll show up that that's the link they clicked and you know that, hey, they were reading my blog whenever they clicked an affiliate link. So I know that's where this traffic is coming from. Cool. My blog is performing well. I'll do more stuff with my blog or I'll do more stuff with my YouTube because it's performing really well. And then whenever you go to your reports here, I'll back out here really quick. I think I did have one commission for the day. I want to go to today, not yesterday. And you'll be able to see uh, the item that you sold. And right over here, tracking ID. I know that they clicked on a YouTube link in order to purchase this product. Now, I have never created an affiliate link or anything for this product. But uh, with affiliate links, as a 24-hour cookie. So if they click on your link 
and then they don't click on somebody else's link within 24 hours and they buy something, you're going to get that no matter what it is, even if it's not the product that you are pushing. So affiliate links are awesome and they also trump on-site links. So if you're driving off-site traffic and then somebody watches an influencer video, you are going to be the one that still gets that commission, not the uh, on-site Amazon influencer because Amazon highly, highly, highly values people driving uh, off-site traffic because uh, you're basically an advertiser for them. It's it's free advertising for them. They're using you. <laughs> so they like it. That's why uh, most uh, affiliate uh, commissions are higher than on-site commissions because you're pulling in traffic instead of the traffic already being there. So I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, we looked at all how to create a link and everything. And then, like I said, yeah, you'll just take this link and you'll post it wherever you need to post it. Make sure you're you know, doing all your proper disclaimers and you've added everything to your uh, Associates Central. I made a video on that already. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, either link it in the description or I'll have it pop up on the screen here in a second and you can click on it and check it out if you want to know how to create affiliate links and how to uh, properly add them to Associates Central so that you don't get yourself in trouble because if you do it incorrectly, Amazon's going to shut you down and getting shut down is never good because there goes uh, all those commissions you earned. So yeah, if you have any questions, you want me to cover something else go ahead and drop them down this was actually a request that somebody put down uh, on my last video uh, about the influencer program on uh, tracking ids how they work and everything so i hope this answers your question uh again i really appreciate it when you guys like subscribe comment it helps out the channel immensely i'm trying to grow it i want to be one of those big guys give uh, mr beast uh, you know, run for his money. We'll, we'll see if that happens. So uh, once again, I'm Tyler. This is Reviews and How-Tos. Thanks for stopping by and y'all have a good one.